to many, many, uh, many other wild animals. And if you, if you have, if you listen to enough stories of the seven torture chambers, you can find out another ideas for Marcus. But then Marcus were meant for they had a specific purpose. Some people say that the Tzema Farshim that Marcus already was only wolves. It wasn't everything else. It takes away from all the colorfulness of the Cholifim. So there's a different opinion of what it was. I'm sure that the Tzema Farshim that will say that bees were involved somewhere. Maybe Kinim had some other uh, flying insects there as well. But the Abish that Al Pich said is definitely it's all a kavan. It's a clear kavan of what Hashem wanted to do. There's no need to use mosquitoes, and he didn't use mosquitoes. Are all the Taylor next to Mimin? Possibly. The question is based on the fact that uh, Tommy was someone that learned in Yeshiva Stem Ket Mimin. And all the Taylor is a separate Mesa, a separate uh, organization, which is not Tem Ket Mimin. So therefore, are the Bachim learning they're considered to Mimin? So there's a famous Sikha which is called the contract of Tem Ket Mimin, which every Bachim has to learn at least five times in his Bachim life, probably more than that. It's in the Chel Kudah Sikha, 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 you have to learn five times. Okay, so wait five times, and then within the second week, and then you already have to win. Um, again, this is my opinion. If I remember Shpia, right. ask him about Shpia, maybe he can learn something else instead. Maybe it is. So the Rebbe here speaks about a whole long sikh about the Tzema Farshim learning Tzema Farshim. Tzema Farshim is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, Shpia is supposed to be like, about the soil, even people that were not actually Talmudim in the Yeshiva Tem Chetimim, but they learned the Torah of the Rebbeim, even people that were not actually Talmudim in the Yeshiva Tem Chetimim, even people that were not so anybody who knows the Rebbe's title is considered a Tommy. So regardless, if you want to say, not, uh, say learn the Tempeth Mimim, he learns the Rebbe's title and Bachim and, and all the title, definitely learn the Rebbe's title all the time. So the Mela, all the manners of Tempeth Mimim definitely applies to them as well. And al Darach said there was a Chassid, his name is Rabbi Al-Mesha Yitzchaki. Al-Mesha Yitzchaki did not learn the Tempeth Mimim, it was before Tempeth Mimim. And one time, I think the Rebbe Rashab, even the Rebbe said about him a Tommy. I said discussed that he wasn't learning, he didn't learn how to How could you call him a tom? He said he reached the mile of a tom by learning chsidis on his own, so to speak. So the Mela, the answer in short is yes. Did the Rebbe encourage speak about dancing during Chaydesh Adar? That's the question that Merlevi asked. I was waiting for him to come to see. So, um, as far as I understand, it goes like this. It's, it's actually, a, it is a differences of opinions. In Chaydesh Adar, Tavshin and Beis, that was the first time that it began such a concept of having dancing at night. And at that year, um, the people in charge of it, they wrote into the Rebbe, and, it's, and they got an they got answer. Now the answer that they got, so this is not so clear to me, but it, it, it was, they posted, and they got posted in the bulletin board in 770, and the Rebbe gave them a, a bracha to continue on what they were doing. So, the pastors, that's the way it was, that there was a bracha for that year to have, uh, da, to have dancing and call it a ma'ar. At the same time, it's understood that the, the Rebbe says in all the sikh is always that the simcha, the ikar isaf and simcha and taira in Kedish order is taira, pikud de Hashem Yisharim Yisam Chinev, there has to be a isaf and taira. And uh, for person, uh, uh, so that's that's the the main source of Simon Chayyim Shadr has to be through Torah. And uh, 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 also, it's just uh, a lot of people don't understand. If a Bachar sits the whole day and he's wasting his time and not talking and uh, not learning anything, Mitamol comes ten o'clock at night. He's ready to start dancing. What exactly are you dancing about? What, what are you so excited about? It's a bit strange. So it, it's a Bachar is sitting and learning the whole day and it's like a chais and a geshmak and now he has and appreciates straight to the shoulder and he has a feeling for it and it would make sense for his simcha to, to continue to the dancing. But Bachar doesn't doesn't dance the whole day. So it, learn the whole day so it's a strange. You can say that he can spell mamish. You can argue about it back and forth. But the holy thing. So the Rebbe didn't speak about it. But Rabbi, they don't talk about it in sikhas. The Rebbe only meant there was a, a temple and answer to the people that were in charge of it for that year, Tavshin and Beis, and that uh, and that. So that that's that, that, as far as I know, that's all that the Rebbe spoke about it, which is, is enough. Yeah enough for that to, to be a, a real thing. But at the same time, what the Rebbe Kelly spoke about is the Aisof in Yikudi Hashem Yishar Misham Kelly. So we'll have a Seder, whoever wants to go dance has to first learn Daf Gibara and then from there he can dance. Every Daf Gibara can do another ten seconds. <laughs> huh? What? No, 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 no. <laughs> the Rebbe says the Aisof in Chedeshar is Yikudi Hashem Yishar Misham Kelly. That's the Aisof. 
the end of Sidim, and the Rebbe said, Only on the Mufsim. The Rebbe asked more than that. I'm, just, I'm not going to say everything now. But the Rebbe, and then he wrote about the Baptist of dancing, and they got a bro. I'm just saying, so he wanted to do both things together. But the Rebbe clearly sat down with the Rebbe, gave a social service, and do both together. Maybe the opposite. Maybe first, you know, the dance after the dance conference. Then go down from the mouth. Maybe, maybe you'll be screaming back and forth the whole time. Yeah, or maybe dance with the Gemara at the same time. Because they don't have to look at you. If you make a day with dancing here at night, then some of the Gemara will be dancing that they don't have to be learning. Are Hasidim allowed to use the Shimis of the Rebbe? What is your opinion on the Shimis? So just uh, the way how it is. The Rebbe had the Shimis, the Rebbe wrote notes to himself. And the Rebbe wrote notes to himself for Divrei Torah, which everyone knew all the years that the Rebbe had his private notes. And every once in a while, for whatever reason, the Rebbe would allow certain people to look at certain parts of his notes, and the Rebbe only said from here to here. But other than that, people knew the Rebbe had his Shimis, but it wasn't available to the public. Um, after Gimel Tammuz, they went into the Rebbe's room and they found in the Rebbe's drawer all of his notes. And there, there became now an argument on what to do with these notes. So one opinion was, is that all the years the Rebbe didn't share his notes, he kept it private. So now also it's private, it's not, it's not, it's not nobody's business. A second opinion was that throughout the years, uh, throughout the last few weeks before comes another, the Rebbe cleared out his room. The Rebbe burnt a lot of things, gave away a lot of things. It was clear the Rebbe was preparing. Uh, it was very, it was very, it was clear the Rebbe was preparing to kiv yachol not be the big ashmis, and and the Rebbe left these uh, these papers in his drawer. So some people said if the Rebbe left it in the drawer, the Rebbe obviously wanted us to take it and publish it. Those were two opinions. When it came out for chachila, so the people that uh, felt that they, they they should publish it started publishing it. And uh, there's a magazine called Beis Mashiach, which to, which would also publish the rishimis every week. But then things became political, and it became like if you're one party, then you have to, you have a certain party line that you have to vote, no matter what. And it made it became Sapastish, if I'm a Bish Mashiach, Tabir Shimis, whatever, so it became like that. But it's really, these are two, these, these are two opinions. It's nothing to do with Mashiach, not Mashiach. These are the two ways of looking at it. Is it that the Rebbe all the years did not share it, and therefore now also shouldn't be shared? Or if the Rebbe obviously left it there, then it is available for us. So those are the two general copies. Um, my personal opinion is, is I don't know what's right or wrong between these two things, but I know that if I would find right now uh, uh, papers from my grandfather that he wrote, his own personal notes, I wouldn't ask anybody for their opinion. I would go and read his notes. I don't care what anybody else has to say. If my grandfather has notes that he wrote, I would go and, uh, and, and, and look at it. My father, any, any person, a person that I love, that I care about very much, and I respect him, and I feel that he's very special, that he has personal notes, even though he says in it, no one should read it, I would go read it anyway. I probably wouldn't share it with you, but for myself, I would go and read it. But that's my personal opinion, that, uh, and that, that's, that's, not, uh, that's one opinion that I have, one Nakuda. The second opinion that I have is the way knowing the Rebbe is Kav Bechlal, is any Indian, I saw in Torah, the Rebbe is always pro. The Rebbe always, the Mesif and Torah, I've made everything. So if we have now more tight of the Rebbe, I think the Rebbe is for sure it's encouraging to learn the, the, the Rebbe that Torah. That's what I think. Those are my opinions. Obviously, canal, you can always do so. PSA, can you make an announcement about not pitching on the toilet seat? <laughs> Thank you. Huh? Yes. Really what? PSA? What is PSA? Oh, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we learn the Yud Beis Psukim thoroughly, like the Iyum? There's so many Nyanim and Torah that we learn thoroughly. We can learn Eitz Kunda Seitz Achayim thoroughly. We can learn Nitziches Nalva and Beis thoroughly. We can learn Aleph Beis thoroughly. My brother is teaching all the Torah. He teaches Aleph Beis and Shir Beis Mesifta. The Bachim laugh at him. Aleph Beis. We don't know Aleph Beis. So I give them a class and they go, they go crazy. What's Aleph? What does it mean exactly? Be Kabbalah, right? Oshi Yehuda, all the What Aleph Beis is? It's not so simple, just like that. So everything can be learned thoroughly. There's a regular Seder which was established all the years, and that's what's done. Every once in a while, it comes up and a topic is given, and someone gives a, 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 a speak about it. So if you want to specifically to have a share about one of the 12 psukim, or all 12 psukim, you can ask any of the Anhola, we can try to put together a share on it. But uh, why is it not part of the Seder? Because like everything else, there's just so much Seder to learn, and we have to choose what, uh, based on uh, when the Seder Yeshivas is, what comes first. Can a person that's uh, trans get married? No. What would the Rebbe say about internet and smartphones? Um, I, my opinion, it's all my opinion. No. My opinion is, is that 
anything in the world that Rebbe said about the radio, everything in the world is meant for Kedusha. So internet and smartphones have to be used for Kedusha. At the same time, the Rebbe spoke about radio and encouraged Giddish Yirim on the radio. At the same time, there were other, other citizens that were against any kind of using of the radio. They would not allow their people to give Shirim on the radio at all. But the Rebbe used it. At the same time, the Rebbe said, in a Yiddish home, there should be no radios. Which means that you could use it for Kedusha, but personally, for your own things, it should not, besides Kedusha, it shouldn't be for anything else. So I think the Rebbe would say not to have an internet smartphone in your house, but if you're a shliach and you have an opportunity to have a through internet, internet smartphone, you should do so. And obviously, it filters in such a way that it should not lead to anything bad. It's my opinion. Cannot. Three questions that are the same. Chesidus always speaks about different levels, specifically the higher levels. <coughs> what will someone gain by learning about levels like these? It might not even come down and affect us. How can we make Hishtalshlos and Keser and all the other levels of is practical? How does one make Chesidus affect his life? <coughs> so, there's two, uh, two answers that I can say in general about learning how Chesidus affects a person's life. One answer is that a person learns Chesidus and picks a person up in the higher mode. The Havdim. If a person, uh, there's a catalog in Yeshiva floating around on the table, a catalog about fancy cars. So most Bachrim would enjoy very much looking at the cars and the features and how fast they can go and colors and that the doors go this way or that way or all that. It has, it has a one a roof, a sunroof or whatever. It's guys, it's electricity. It's, it's, it's a geschmack thing to read. And a Bach is reading it and flipping through the pages, looking at the pictures, it's very geschmack. He's enjoying it very much. But it doesn't enter as much. He's not charged to buy these cars. Each car was worth who knows how much money. But he just in the, he's in the car mode, and when he, when he finishes, he finishes re reading the, the magazine, he puts it down, he walks outside, he sees the car, what kind of this, he starts finally comparing, his, his mind is in cars right now, so he's a little bit of a car mode, there's a conversation about cars, he's in the cars for the next while. If he reads another magazine about cars, the next day he gets into it, and for a while he's very much involved in cars. Even though he, has, he doesn't have a license, doesn't care, and he's, he, has, he can't afford Bechal to buy anything, but Afel Bechel, he's in a certain mode. Lahavdil person learns about Sayyidina Ishtaushlus, Rablo, and uh, Attic, and all these Madregas. So just learning about these things all the time puts your mind in a better place. Instead of talking about cars, you're talking about Attic and Arach. Your, your mind is in a better place. Your whole mode, your, your life is learning about other things that are more real to you. And you see something in the world, okay, this is Attic, this is Arach, this is a miracle, this is Ashkaha Prad, this is a miracle, this is Nesam Lufer, this is Teva, this is National Alimat. You can start right away, everything that you see, you can try to connect to these Madregas that you're learning about. That's number one. That's one general thing. That you learn Chassidus Bechlal, it just picks you up to a higher place. Even though not necessarily you don't, you can't afford it, you can't really relate to it necessarily. But your mind is in a different place, better than where it is right now. A second akuda is is that there was a one time <coughs> the Rebbe's father, Reb Levik, and Reb Ichud the Masmid were for bringing, and Reb Ichud the Masmid was telling Reb Levik that uh, he asked us to learn more Chassidus and less Kabbalah. Everybody knows that Rebbe's father, Reb Levik, was a big Makubal and not Kabbalah all the time. A bit of the Masmid, so he wasn't, can't compare to the Rebbe and his father, but he still had the chutzpah, if you will, to 